here we are again with another another testimony Tuesday. Um, I want to go back to something I've spoke about before because I want to get your mind stirring today um, about how important you are to God. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time to be with me for a few minutes today. Now, this may be, I, I believe it's going to be a little shorter than normal, but I, I believe we can pack a whole lot into just a few moments. So if you will, let me read this scripture. Genesis 1 and 26 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now I, I've related to two several times in videos about how God breathed the breath of life into man. But I wanted to come back to this. I, I wanted to make two quick points out of this. He said, let us make man in our image. He was letting us know. This is Genesis 1 and 26. We know God is creator, but he was letting us know the Holy Trinity exists here. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us make man in our own image. Our, being plural. Um, I know you realize that today. Uh, but also... He said, and let them have dominion. Those are the two things I want to want us to focus on. That he, he was letting us know that there was Christ with him from the beginning, the Holy Spirit, and that he loved us so much and we were his greatest creation, that we were created to have dominion over this earth. Why do you say that? Because Satan is running around seeking to going to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, whom he may destroy. Um, he has power here. But we have begin, be, get, been given dominion from the very beginning over this earth. We don't have that of our own power. It comes through Jesus Christ. It comes from God the Father. It comes through the Holy Spirit that is the comforter that came down, that was made available to us after Jesus ascended to the Father. Um, why is that so important? It's important because we can't do anything without Him. But we have all power here where we're living now for this time until He uh, decides something different for you or for me or the rapture or the great catching away, however you want to refer to it as, as the Bible refers, the great catching away. Um, and, and we move to eternal life. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. His love for us is so great that he created man and gave the man a, a woman to be with, to help, to be helped by. And he said, you are over everything. They, they were placed in a garden of paradise where provided everything they needed. God is going to provide everything we need. We will be in paradise with him for eternity if we just trust in him and believe in his power of creation. He created you and me by first creating Adam. Wow. That just amazes me. I, ho I hope it kind of gets your mind and your thoughts stirring about how God is so great that he created us. He loves us that much. He loves you that much. So I said this was going to be quick today. Remember, you are God's creation. He loves you so much that he is still allowing you to be here now because you have a purpose. He has a plan for you. And he wants you to live out that purpose by seeking after him, by uh, being obedient to him and being willing to do what it is he, he's calling you to do in whatever facet of your life. Your calling will not be the same as mine, more than likely. It may be, but more, 
You know, he, he, he has each of us in a specific place if we're following after him to do the work he's called us to do because you're important to him. He wants to bless you. He wants to use you to help advance his kingdom by leading others to Jesus Christ so that they can be with him for all eternity. I, I know the last two videos I've been focused on eternal life, but it's because that is what our future holds. He loves us so much. He created us. He gave us dominion over the earth. He's given you power as you seek him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. That means everything you need, uh, everything that he can uh, use you to do. He can give you strength to, to have joy when there seems to be no joy and peace when there should be no peace. He can do all those things for you. Thank you for taking the time to be with me today. I love you. More importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. 2271 Ultra Mill Road, Shiloh PH Church. Come join us when you can. And again, thank you. God bless you. Help us by liking and sharing our videos. I don't think I've done that in my last video. But I just want to ask you to help us spread the gospel. Thank you again.